This video is in response to some confusion um, about job titles. And I know if you're coming right out of school or looking to get a job in IT, uh, you might find all the different job titles a, a little ridiculous. So I'm gonna to try to bring in some clarity. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about three different kinds of analysts, um, business analyst, um, systems analyst, and functional analyst, um, and how they might differ from one another. The first thing you need to understand is that um, these roles are all a matter of scope and complexity. Um, to explain that, let's say you have a great business idea and you yourself are a pretty capable um, developer. So you build an app. You are the whole organization. When you want to change something, you know exactly how everything works and you know the direction you want to go. Now, let's say someone else comes up, up with a really cool idea um, and they ask you to help develop it. Now, they are the business and you are all of IT. They know the business direction um, and they make all the decisions. You know all the systems and have complete access to change really any and everything. So now let's expand that scope to a huge organization. Um, several different business units, dozens of business processes um, with dozens of business owners and a bunch of applications all interfacing with each other to keep the business running. Now things are a little bit more complicated. The business process owners might want to make changes to meet some new business objective, um, but they don't know how those changes might impact other business processes. Um, this is where a business analyst comes in. They learn the business need, they learn the business process, figure out how those processes need to change to meet the business need, and finally document, um, communicate, and facilitate agreement on all of those changes. A business analyst might work um, across all the business units on a single project initiative, or they might work within just like a single business unit and collaborate with other business analysts across um, in, on a cross unit project. A kind of specialist business analyst is a process or a business process analyst. And these people usually focus on process modeling for the sake of um, creating efficiencies like finding bottlenecks or places to save money on cost. Now, sometimes the business analyst isn't an expert on the systems, current functionalities, and all those process changes will involve changes to the systems. Um, someone needs to understand the impacts of those system changes and also recommend the best ways to accommodate the required business needs within the systems. This is a systems analyst. Systems analysts are typically responsible for either an application or suite of related applications. Now that's kind of the pure definition of like a business analyst and a systems analyst. And the last of the analysts um, that sometimes gets lumped together in this group is a functional analyst. Functional analysts are typically defined as specialist business analysts or systems analysts. An example might be an analyst who specializes in like HR business processes or an analyst that specializes in a specific tool set like maybe Oracle or Salesforce. And honestly, it's much more likely that a functional analyst will be referred to or titled as their specialty. Like rather than functional analyst, you're more than likely going to find like HR business analyst or Salesforce systems analyst. Now, out there in the job market, you'll see additional titles like IT analyst, computer systems analyst, business systems analyst. Um, and just so you know, they are all really just some version or overlap of business analyst, systems analyst, or functional analyst. If you want true clarity on the specific job posting, you really just need to read the job description or talk to the hiring manager to be sure exactly what the expectation is. So to summarize, a pure business analyst focuses on collecting, analyzing, and sharing business goals and processes to understand what needs to change. A pure systems analyst focuses on those needs and looks across the systems, to determine how the systems will accomplish um, those needs. Um, and a functional analyst is a specialist in the area. And in truth, it is likely one person can be all of these things at once, depending on the size and complexity of the domain or project in question. I hope that brought a little clarity. The truth is hiring managers can title jobs whatever they want. And sometimes you can just search job postings based off of what you expect in the job description to kind of give you an idea of the different job titles that you might be able to search for or that you might be qualified for. Um, and as always, if you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments and I will either answer you there or um, if it's a big enough question, I'll create a whole new video just like this one. So subscribe to see those questions get answered. And as always, thanks for watching.